Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Cheat Engine to cheat in the game Super Meat Boy. This is going to be useful if you're trying to 100% the game or you can't beat a certain level and you want to just move forward. So first things first, we're going to attach Cheat Engine to Super Meat Boy and we're going to find our timer here and we're going to disable it. So we're going to scan value type all, scan type, we'll just put unknown initial value and put first scan. And then we'll do increased value for the next scan and we'll just do that a bunch of times. What we can do is get ourselves killed and that'll set the timer back to zero. And we can just scan for a decrease value and then scan for increase now that it's going up again. One thing we can also do is pause the game, scan for increased and then scan for unchanged because the game is paused. Our timer is also paused. Okay, and we're left with 100 values and this list isn't getting smaller, so we're just gonna have to look through it. Our timer is at around 26 seconds, so we're gonna look for any value and double click any one of these that could be our time. And once we have a bit of a list here selected, we can just go and freeze them one at a time and see if any of those are the ones we need. It's not those, so we'll get some more. Okay, it ended up being this one. So we'll just delete the rest. We'll call this our timer and we can just let it resume. Now we're gonna right click on it and do see what writes to this address. And this is the code that is making the timer go up. So if we right click on this, we can do replace with code that does nothing. Click okay. And now our timer is stopped. Okay, we're gonna close this window and at the bottom left here where it says advanced options, this is our code list of all the code that we've modified in this case it's gonna be that timer. And you can see here it's in red, which means we've replaced with code that does nothing. So here we can right click on it and restore with original code and it's gonna resume. And this is important because we can turn this into a script that we can just toggle. So we're gonna right click on it, go open the disassembler in this location, tools, auto assemble, template, AOB injection. Okay, okay. And then here where it says code, this first line, we're just going to put NOP and then file add to current address table. So we'll just call this disable timer. And now this is a script that we can toggle on and off to make our timer go. We just set it to zero. And now every time we complete a level, it's going to be with zero time. Next, we're going to find our X and Y coordinates and that's gonna allow us to just move around the map however we want. So again, we're gonna do value type all unknown initial value, first scan, and that gives us 546 million hits. We're gonna move a little bit to the left and scan for a decrease value. And the reason we're scanning for a decrease is because our player is on an X and Y axis because it's a 2D game. So we can just assume that if he moves left, the X value will go down. If he moves right, the X value will go up. And same thing with the Y axis. If he jumps, the value should go up. If he moves down vertically, the value of Y should go down. So we're gonna move a little bit more to the left, scan for a decrease value. Then we're gonna move to the right and scan for an increased value. You can also scan for unchanged values after standing still. That will weed out a lot of results. Now we're down to 47 addresses. So we have to decide here what most likely looks like our X coordinate in the game map. So there's a lot here that say minus 346. If I move left, that number does go more negative. If I move right, it does go more positive. So I'm just going to take a chance on this minus 368 value. So I want to grab all of these that are this minus 369. So I'm going to do scan for value between minus 370 and minus 350 and click next. And these are all the potential addresses for my X position in the game. Okay, out of all of these, this one does actually freeze my location in the game. So we're just gonna call this X position. Now let's find the Y position. Instead of scanning it like we just did for the vertical, we're gonna do something a little lazier. We're gonna right click on it and do browse this memory region, tools, Dissect data slash structures, structures, define new structure, click OK. And this is going to have a bunch of values for our player. 
we can see here's our x coordinate and here's another one right next to it which is probably our y so if we jump that value should change it goes more positive when we jump and then back down more negative when we fall down so this is likely our y value there's two of them so we're going to add both of them to our address list we'll freeze it and that seems to be the one so we'll just call this one y and we'll delete the other one because we don't need it now while we have this structure dissect window open we can move our character around and see what other values are changing when we're playing the game so i'm more interested in seeing what changes when i jump and move so there's this address that changes there's this address that changes so this value this minus 9.1 could very well be the down force you get from gravity you can see when we jump it goes up when we're on our way back down it goes minus so one thing we could do is right click on it and do find what accesses this address if this has anything to do with gravity and we turn off one of these pieces of code that could just give us no gravity so we could just go through these one by one and do replace with code that does nothing and that makes it so we can't jump at all so we may not be able to jump because our gravity force is stuck at minus nine now so if we change this to something like 10 you can see our player is now floating so there is now zero gravity and we can control how much gravity there is so we're just going to go ahead and turn that into a script as well so we'll do open the disassembler at this location tools auto assemble template aob injection okay and we'll replace this code with nop super simple file assigned to current cheat table and we'll just call this float mode and if we wanted we could right click on the gravity value set a hotkey and do create new hotkey that when we press one it gives us 25 float positive and when we press two it gives us 25 negative float so now we can fly around we can speed up how fast we float and there are a few more codes here that we can disable it would be fun to find out what they do this one seems to reset us every time we'll turn that off we'll replace that one with no code that seems to do nothing okay and this last one seems to make us fall through walls which which will disable and we'll just rename this to no clip and that might be something we want to hold on to also so same thing we're gonna auto assemble aob inject and assign to cheat table and we'll just call this no clip and that should let us just travel through the walls of the level skipping entire parts if we want to so these warp zones seem to have different values than the regular game so you can achieve the same results in a warp zone you just have to find those addresses and scripts again for warp zone specifically and the no clip hack seems to be working in the warp zone as well so i don't think you have to redo that and one thing about the no clip is that it only seems to be working with vertical walls and not horizontal walls and that's because this game treats wall collision differently than floor and ceiling collision so with a bit of playing around you could probably find the code that prevents you from going through walls but honestly if you want to just clip through a wall you can just change your x position and that's going to move you a little bit further in the level and that's something that we can do with the hotkey as well so we'll just make a hotkey every time we press the letter d it increases our x value by 50 and every time i press a it decreases the value by 50. so now i can just teleport around the map and i'll do the same thing for my y i'll make w to increase the value and s to decrease the value so now i can just glitch through the level this is probably going to be easier if i turn on the float mode so gravity doesn't make me fall through the level and i can probably still move my character around regularly and just change my position as i see fit and we can see how this goes in a boss battle
Easy. Easy. And that is just some ways you can cheat in Super Meat Boy using Cheat Engine. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.